Yo, what it do? What's to it? It's your boy DA. I got a treat. Man, I can't believe I pulled this off. A young entrepreneur, and he is great in his own right. Let me get this in camera off me. What's up? It's your boy Heavy Heart CEO. Uh, I'm Jeremiah Miles, the owner of Heavy Heart. Man, it's so crazy. Uh, Cause you never know who you know in the world. <laughs> you know, uh, I won't even get into how everything came to be, but me and this this great young individual, man, we share the same barber, and uh, I've heard about him for years. Sitting in the barber shop, listening to him, I'm talking about my barber just rave about him. He's a good dude. I'm in the barber shop one day, and then in comes strolling. So, seeing as that this is your first time, man, in the studio, um. Let's just like like get into it. Like how did like how did you come to the point of knowing that you wanted to do what you're doing uh and what inspired you? Uh it's like I ain't know I wanted to start a clothing brand for real. It's just like I I was working at all these different restaurant joints around the way. Wendy's, McDonald's, Texas Road, you name it, I probably didn't work there. So one day I was just sitting, I went to my granny crib and my aunt. He which he in jail right now, but he 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 had he sent the picture to his uh son and I seen it. It was a little visual with a heart, like a tractor. And I'm like, that motherfucker looked it decent. So I I happened to text this tattoo artist like you know how to draw logos, and she must have drew a logo. I explained it to her, cracked the heart, and I'm like, I'm trying to have a catchy name that everybody can relate to. And I'm like heavy heart, and it just that's how I went and then. What influenced me, I I like dressing. You feel me? I like getting fly. I spent a lot of money on designer. So I'm like, what if I could make my own shit? Where, right. you feel me? Yeah. That's how that went about. So the relationship between your uncle, now that you done jumped off into superstardom, man, you, <laughs> you, shit, you done pretty much took over. You, you, you cornered the market, man. You got everything going. How do he feel about that logo situation? No, nah, he he rocking with me. He know I got him when he get out. You know, we, okay. we talked about it, but it ain't the same logo. Like I changed like most of it up. Yeah, but it's that that was just the view of it. Right, but I don't know how he rocking. Yeah, but no, because you, know. you know, in them in them situations, you know, he started to do copyright infringement and all that other nah, type nah, of shit. Nah. But that's crazy, man. So I mean, growing up, you was just like a fashionable kid. Yeah, spent a, like a lot of design. I like. I got it. Whatever you could name, I got it. Yeah. Lency, Gucci, Louis. I got it all. So, and I've like spent a lot of money on that. So I'm like, what if I could invest this money into my own brand? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I put the money in there. I ain't know it was just going to blow up. It started like, like I just posted some hoodies. It went viral around the way. Right. It went viral on Facebook. So I just posted pictures, took the pictures on my bed, right? Mm -hmm. Posted it on the book. I look on the book. Couple hours later, five point six k shares. Damn. Messages filled, bro. Can I get a hoodie? Can I get a hoodie? What size you got? And I, I knew I had some, bro. Damn. I, knew I had some when it, when it was like that. Damn, that is crazy, that bro. It's crazy. Like I didn't even know that it happens like that. No, but I mean, I for didn't. you, it did. You see what I'm saying? I ain't know it even happened like that. Then one day, I'm like, I'm finna try webs because I was just doing it through Instagram, feel me, Cash App, Zell. Mm -hmm. One day. Start a website, but I ain't know how to work the website for real. So I happened to put some clothes on there, and I tried to market. So I must have did. I don't know what I did, bro. I put some money in the marketing. When I say I sat there, and I, my when I got my first sale on my site, I was you feel me jumping up and down. But <laughs> a couple of hours later, orders keep coming in. Cha ching, cha ching. Website going crazy, bro. <laughs> I look at my OG. I got some. This yeah, is it right here. Yeah. You feel me? A lot of people can relate to it. That's why it, everybody in the world had a heavy heart, no matter who you is, what you went through. It's something in your life that gave you a heavy heart. You feel me? So right. you don't relate to it. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know that that went together like that. I'm going to be honest. Um, I get the logo. The logo is very clean. clean. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got the two tractors, the, the broken heart, heavy yeah. heart. The heart got the bricks Brick, in it. You feel me? Like and everything. The falling off. It's like your problems falling down. You feel me? Yeah. It's just all... Yeah. That's why a lot of people relate to it. That's why I think it's that's why it got to where it's going. Some people make brands and it it's just like 
it don't relate to people like that, and then wondering why it don't sell really. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's it's like man I relate to everybody in the world, so it's gone. Do what it's gonna do. See what I'm saying? So even with it, like even with it being like relatable to everybody, how the fact that you're everywhere now? I mean, I I haven't been too many places. I'm gonna keep it all the way a buck. I ain't been too many places where I haven't seen something that you've done. Or like at, like at a mall, mall yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, out in the stores, grocery yeah, yeah. stores, shopping places, whatever. How does that feel, man? Everybody walking around with your brand on. It's like, I don't really feel it for real. Like, it's like everything, I'm still, I ain't take everything in yet. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I wake up and do everything like basic. But when I actually look like at my gram and shit like that, I'll be like, damn, I'm really a big deal out here. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But it don't, it ain't, it ain't really get to me yet. So yeah. I just, I'm just taking it how it is, going day by day with it. Yeah, no, that makes sense, man. Uh, But like, in a sense, like, so you spoke to, you you said that, you know, you worked in all of the fast food restaurants right, around right. the land where you grew up or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. So like, knowing that these people see in your face uh, or whatnot, and now, Everybody's wearing your brand. Is it weird for you, like when you out in public, man, and people just randomly approach you? No, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's weird because I ain't know, I don't even know I'm that big of a deal for real. Yeah. So it's like it's a lot of people in the world that know me, but I don't really know them. So they come up to me, you have your heart. I'm like, yeah, you feel me? I don't really know them though, but they know me. So I'm just taking it like I ain't nobody. I wake up like a regular person. You feel me? But I'm really a you feel a big deal? You're like really that, a big man. deal. Yeah, it's just like I don't know. <laughs> I like I would imagine, um, like for me in my small space, it'd be weird when I'm out in public. You know what I mean? And I got the hoodie on with the with the logo on it, the I just want to talk logo, and people just like randomly start talking to me about random stuff. And I'd be sitting there like, man, do I know this person? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do I know them? Did I forget them? You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Because I try to be as real and transparent as I could be. Um, but it is weird for me. So I could just imagine what it's what like it for, for you, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you you definitely in a different bracket altogether. I won't <laughs> <Yeah>. go one <laughs> way or the other. But you definitely have more of a following. And so um, how does that feel, though? Like when you walk around normal, like are you ever, and I don't want to use the word fearful because I don't never want to put that out there. Right, right, right. But like, like how does that feel like when you out, you go to a concert or you go to a club or – you go somewhere where you don't know everybody and right. people staring at you. Is that weird for you? Yeah, that's kind of weird because that making me like, is you want some sneaky, some snake? You feel me? Yeah. But I don't really, really go too many places by myself, and you know how that go. Right. If I ain't, if I ain't by myself, somebody with me, I'm, I'm be protect. I got like, I got some on speed that that's close. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That I know. So I ain't really fearful. It's like, but yeah, I'll be around, be aware of my surroundings and everything like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. Um, so like it takes off, boom, you post the first hoodie, you do five, six K shares, um, you create a Shopify, I'm guessing to some degree what it was and not to drop Shopify's name, but I mean, you create this entity and it takes off. Where does that take you mentally? Cause you're not that old. I mean, if you want to tell them how old you are, you're not that old. I'm 22. I just turned 22. So where does that take you in your mind being 22? Your brand is out there. Right, right. And you getting all of this revenue in. Right. How does that feel at 22, man, to be in a better position than you was? <laughs> it feel good, though, because, like, it's like when I was in school, I wasn't a big school kid. So my te- some of the teachers be like, you ain't going nowhere in life. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now it make me feel like, man, like, people, I made a lot of people regret their words. A lot mm. of people, you feel me? Now I'm up now. Now you wanna you wanna come back around, see how I'm doing. <laughs> I don't really do too much of that. Kick. Keep him with that. Not only are you up, but you're 22, bro, and you're right, living right. in a new world. Yeah. Like this is this is the world of social media. Social media. And you do need social media. You do need your social media platform. No, so a lot of people don't know social media could get you rich as hell. Yeah. Like if you use social media the right way, how not all these other people on Facebook just posting look. Random shit. But if you use social media right away, anybody could get rich. It's yeah. a million ways in the world to get rich right now just using social media. Big facts. But a lot of people don't know that. Big facts. They take it about use posting pictures of ass and all that extra shit. So. That don't even make you no money. You feel what I'm saying? But if it's making you some money, no, it's making it you make some it, money. You feel me? Yeah. They got OnlyFans and stuff now. That's what that's for. So how does it feel to you 
living in the world uh, where social media is, is prevalent because you twenty two, right? You twenty two. You you um uh, the millennial. No, you. I think it's Generation X or something like that. I I don't know the damn generational gaps or whatever. But like, is it hard to stay humble? You know what I'm saying, knowing that you've transcended to that next level. Yeah, a lot of people say I'm too humble, but it ain't nothing for me to pop yet because my OG still working. Yeah, if, when it ain't, well, I'm I'm gonna stay humble until I can get her out her job, and then we could, and then I could pop it. You feel me? I like that. Because a lot clean. of people, you humble, you humble, you ain't spending your money. No, my OG still working. Let me get up out of here. Then we go. Then I'm gonna pop it. You feel what I'm saying? Because yeah. I don't feel like I ain't did enough. Because she's still working a nine to five, and yeah. I'm out her. Just you feel me? When I get out, there, that's when we are gonna do it. So you saying like when you get your OG and you able to put her where put, she put up, put up and got her what put her doing what she got to do going on, get her little business started. That's when I'm gonna pop it. But right now I'm gonna stay humble, count my blessings, and then we are gonna go from there. Hey man, I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. It's it's really hard sitting in this space. Not to like you. I mean, it's you know how people do that. Oh, them little young heads. Oh, them old heads. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I'm sitting here listening to you, um, and it's 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 giving me damn some real nigga vibes. <laughs> like I ain't even gonna hold you. Yeah. It sounds like you got your shit in the right space, man. Um, so and having and having things in the right space, who who do you have around you, man? Like who who keeps you grounded? Because you said you stay you're you staying humble. Right. Who keeping you in that good space? Really my family. It's really like my mama. That's who really motivate me every morning I wake up, make sure I'm on what I got to do. She really the reason behind me still going because I want to give up a lot of times. But she really pushed me like, you feel me? You built something that's big already. You yeah. got to keep going. Ain't no going back. Yeah. You done built it up already. So it's really like a family thing. Pop's brother, his, his daughter, stuff like that. That's what, that's what keep me motivated and going. So family is important right, to right. you. Right, right. It's real important to me. I'm big on, like, a family. I'm a family dude. That's what's up. We was talking a couple of weeks ago, and I was telling you, like, yeah, man, just be careful, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. when you moving around, because everybody don't have the intentions, that's good. That's good, yeah. You know, it's a lot of people who going to want to just be around you just to be around you. Around you, right, right, Because right. they think that that's what they're supposed to do. Right, right, right. Um, But, I mean, again, you know what I'm saying? You definitely sound like you got a good foundation. And everything is going in the way that it needs to go. Um, so every the people around you, like, so you got your line going. Your right. brand is up and going. I'm pretty sure people just out the blue dropping brands around you. Hey, man, what you think about this? What you think about yeah, yeah. How do you feel about that? I, well, I feel good because I want everybody to eat. So I'm I'm going to tell you, if if this is what you want to do, I'll put you on game. So I dropped the course, a clothing brand course. Okay. And it got Everything in it, how I started and where I went and how I go about it. Because people be like, I, I want to start a brand, but I don't know where to go. So I dropped the course for them. So it's like, if you you got to really want to start a brand for real. You right. can't just, I know I make it look easy. So you're like, let me try that because he's making it too easy. But when you try it and you fail, you can be like, damn, this shit ain't easy. Yeah. So it's like everybody trying to start a brand. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you got to really, it took long nights, <laughs> all type of, you feel me? <laughs> It took a lot of stuff to get where I'm at. Yeah. It ain't, I just make it look easy. Yeah. Because I'm already built. But it's a lot of people starting brands. You feel me? I I wish them the best, but. That's what's up. That's how you know, so. Yeah, no, it's like, so for me, um, in here shooting the podcast, um, like when I started, when I first started podcasting, there wasn't too many in people, wasn't too many people in Joliet shooting podcasts. Like right. I, and if it was, I didn't know them. So, you know, that aside, um, I started doing this in like 2020. So I know for a fact that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, it wasn't too many people in the town doing it. Because one, COVID was real big. Like, I think, like, man, probably like late 18, 19, going into 20, like that's when, like, going Facebook Live kind of really was taking off. Right. Because you were seeing celebrities do it, and then regular people like me was like, oh, man, I could do that, whatever. Right, so right. then I just started, like, going live, you know what I'm saying, in my yeah. garage, up against a blank wall, you know what I'm saying? Um, And then I actually ran into a cat named Anwar Sante. And he put me in tune to do, you know, Anwar? Yes, bro. Anwar, my boy, bro. That's crazy. Hey, That's shout out to my guy, Anwar. Shout out to like, my boy. Though. He wanted them, bro. No, he wanted them, bro. He truly wanted them where he just move around in the right spaces. That's Damn, that's boy. wild. I swear to God. He be coming to my picture. I motivate. That's my boy. Man, that is I crazy. swear to God, that's my boy. But yeah, no, speaking to that, I met him and he got me started with all of this. And I tell him, bro, like, we was on the phone like three hours the other night. I'm sitting here. And he, like, up editing some shit. He's shooting a movie, like, in Cali, bro. 
yeah. somewhere crazy. No, he is. Yeah, I, I know. Don't, I don't want to tell him to take the job he got right now. I That's crazy. <laughs> he worked. He worked for uh, Hoops of Highlight. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Shooting the NBA stuff. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. So we on the phone, bro. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm super emotional, bro. And I'm telling him, bro, I owe all of this to you, bro. Like you helped me with this. Right. Like he didn't come in here and buy none of this. Right. But he put my mind where it needed to be. And so now when I see everybody else in Joliet, like you said, bro, it's a lot of nights, bro, that was hard. Yeah. Because it's like I'm dealing with shit. I got a wife, kids, grown kids, kids going to college. And I'm trying to focus my energy into this because I want to walk away from the gig. Right. So when I'm seeing all of these podcasts pop up in Joliet, like I ain't throwing no shade at nobody because to each his own. Get it how you get it. Right, right. I want you to win. Like you said, we can all eat. We can all eat. But at the same time, if y'all knew what went into this, but then, you know, like, I be telling my brother, like, my brother be asking me, like, you cool? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Like, we'll see who stands the test of time on some Drake shit, on some Diddy shit. No, yeah. Ten years from now, we gonna see. We gonna see, yeah. Like, that's, that's how I be. Like, we, we gonna really see. want it, we gonna see. Ooh, really want it. We gonna see. So, that's what I, what I meant when I asked you, um, with the people around you, or just people who just inbox you and talk about inspiration. Because, actually, when I, I talked to this little young cat at my gig, and he was like, oh, man, I got this uh, clothing line I'm starting up or whatever. And I'm like, oh, man, that's so, that's so crazy you telling me that. Because he's showing me your work. <laughs> I'm like, not nah, kidding, bro. Like, you think I'm joking. When I ended up calling you, he's showing me. I mean, when I ended up calling him, the, like, the week before, he's showing me your stuff. Like, man, this dude, he from out he from Chicago. He started, you know what I'm saying, with nothing. And, like, he just built this great industry. And I'm like. I know Shorty, <laughs> you know, like respectfully. Right. Like I, I don't know him personally, but I mean, we got a connection. Right. And he planned me like, man, you don't know, dude, man. I'm like, all right, bro. Then the next day I get to work after I called him, he, man, you really know him, bro. <laughs> like he was on the phone. I was looking at him. I'm like, folk, chill. <laughs> like, like he real humble. He a humble cat. He was like, man, he told me to keep going. He told me, you know what I'm saying? That he, yeah. I got good work. That's great. He was like super excited. When you get those types of conversations, like you, you, when you get those, if you, when you get those DMs, when you get those texts, when you get those morning motivational posts, like how do that make you feel? Man? That motivate me. I ain't gonna lie, cause yeah. it's like I, me knowing I motivate people make me happy. Yeah, cause like me waking up every day and I get a text message like you motivate me, you keep me pushing. That that make me happy, cause like that's happen. I'm glad I motivate people around the world. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't know. I ain't know I was that big to know I motivate. A hundred thousand people. Yeah. You feel me? I'm, I get like fifty messages a day saying somebody I motivate them. That's a lot of people, bro. That is a lot of people. So I ain't know I change. You feel me? I could I change their life to motivate them like that. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like, not to break your figures down to get in your pockets, but what is it looking like for you? Man, it's six, you okay? Yeah, I'm I'm living real good. Six <laughs> figures. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> On my way to seven next year. So. Yeah, I'm living real good right now. That's crazy, and I like that. You didn't say, I hope to get to seven. Maybe I'll get to seven. You said, I'm on my way to seven next year. That's crazy. Do me a favor. Talk about that course that you got, that you got, you developed. So I dropped the um, clothing brand course uh, for all the people that want to start the brand that don't know where to go. So I dropped the course for them. I just put that like $80. So I I didn't got over a hundred, you feel me? Over a hundred sales already the flight like, first week I dropped it. So yeah. I ain't know that many people wanted to start a brand. Yeah. You feel me? So I just dropped the brand, uh, all the legal information, how I started, well, you feel me? Well, yeah. where to go, how to get sales and stuff like that. So if you want to uh, ever start a brand, I got the course for you. What's the name of the course? Where can they find it? Uh, I'm going to give you the link and you can put it on. A, on okay. Hey, so yeah, no, and the link will be down in the description when we drop this, just so y'all know. Uh, I'll try to edit something up and put it on the screen for y'all, but we're going to get all of that to y'all because, I mean, shit, it's the heavy heart CEO. <laughs> like, he telling you first off, like, this is how I did it. Did it, right, right. I mean, the man just told y'all, he at six, he going to seven. So if you trying to get that work, you know what I'm saying, definitely buy into the course. Hey, so let's just switch gears real quick, man. What type of music you listening to right now? What are you into? Give the people something about you, because I'm sure they dying to know who you are. <laughs> I'm really into like the little baby, little okay. Dirt I'm fucking with baby. I'm fucking with dirt because baby talk about a lot of money getting, so he motivated me off the rip. <laughs> off the rip. I, mean? so I really, he's my favorite rapper, so I really mess with the baby. Okay, the dirt, not uh, the Drake. Sometimes I fuck with Drake. 
I'm the older, so I ain't got no other choice. People right now, I don't really mess with all the other people. Yeah, no, um, shit. I mean, ain't no sense in me bringing it up, but Benny the Butcher in town. I was just playing Benny, like when you walked in, or the shit that was playing on the, you know, Mm -hmm. and like people ask me all the time, like, man, bro, like, why do you listen? Because to me, like Butch talked that street shit, but at the same time, he giving you that real insight. Right. You know what I'm saying? So do music do that for you, man? Like when you, yeah, like how music, do it get you? Every time I'm fulfilling orders, I put on music. That, yeah. that keep me, you feel me? That keep my drive going. Yeah. Because I can relate to some of the stuff they saying. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, music really motivate me. And then, uh, just kind of getting back to things. Where you from, bro? Like I'm from the uh, out west Chicago, oh, Madison shit. and Pulaski. Hey man, he ain't fucking around, man. <laughs> he ain't fucking around. <laughs> out west, bro. Y'all a different breed out nah, there, yeah. man. Nah, it's really- how did how did growing up in the city? Uh, how did that bring you to where you at, or how did you end up? How does that reflect on you, like having that city mentality? Because you That's- can actually hear it in the way you speak. Yeah, I'm the city made you make you aware of everything, so I'm really aware. Of- all the, you feel me, the vibes, I know how it go out there, you feel yeah. me, because I didn't grew up all, mostly all my life out there, so I know how it be, and um, I actually uh, was growing around with my uh, unk them, they got hit with a uh, Rico law in out west, so that really, you feel me, changed, it's, I seen a lot out there, you see what I'm saying, so yeah. that's how I really... That's how it really went about. Yeah, no, that's wild. Hey, everybody getting hit with them Ricos right Damn, now, man, bro. like, we Damn. fight for appeal right now. We man. trying to get hopefully, them out hopefully there. he get that motherfucker with uh, Thug and Gutter. They just got hit with the Rico. They got it's hit hard with the Rico. Be Rico man, bro. shit, it's way hard. Don't people <laughs> put that energy into them Ricos? That ain't nah. just no regular investigation. Nah, that ain't no regular. But I mean, Lord willing, yeah. Uncle I'm gonna get from up under that yeah, jam. Uncle I'm gonna get up out of that. He definitely gonna get from up <laughs> under that jam. Um, not to stir no shit up or nothing like that. But what you got coming up? Uh, right now. Uh, I'm just working on my little collections for next year. I ain't got too much going on, but I'm trying to get into like real estate by building. Okay, but that's gonna be next year. Okay, uh, trucking company stuff like that, and how my brother driving the truck. I'm really that's really my goals for next year. Start more than one business. That's what's up. Yeah, definitely having different streams of income. That's where it's at. Um, so as it pertains to like the clothing, um. Let the people know where they can find your stuff at. And we're going to drop it in the descriptions, but just tell them, you know what I mean, so they can see You can it. follow my Instagram, heavyheartceo underscore, Facebook, Montana Miles, or Heavy Heart Inc. Uh, and the website, we're going to drop it below on the... Uh, Definitely going to drop that website in the descriptions for y'all. Um, I Like, when I was on your page, I saw that you had some shoes up. Is that... Uh, I got into... So, I got into trying to design shoes, but... They just they hitting people with lawsuits now, so I had to fall back from the you. Feel back off that, and I mean I understanding that you still young in the game, but how do that make you feel like when you see like Nike getting on that with Ami and Kai? That's got to be scary, no, but no, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, but they say they gonna fight it. Hopefully they can win. Is somebody beat Nike before in a lawsuit? Straight up, I swear. Oh no, I know nothing so about they that. Could, they can fight it and win actually. Yeah, if they got the right lawyers and stuff, but. Yeah, no, that's really all this shit. Nah, it's, if you and I think Avi and Kai got that bag. You know what I'm saying? Where they, they can they fight. They come it. together. They gonna they could do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so just in keeping with that, bro. I mean, I, I get it. You backed off of it, but like, what pushed you really, like in your mind? Like, what made you think? You know what? I think I got a design touch here. Let me jump into the shoe game. Shoe was game. it? Was it Omni and Kai joint, or yeah, was it just? I was kept seeing everybody like Omni and Kai. Them shoes, the colorways was hard. Some Mike never did. I'm like, let me try to throw in some colorways that that never did, and try to throw a logo on here and see what I can do. Yeah. And I actually sold out, bro. I I bought a hundred shoes and they sold out in like two weeks. And I was selling them for two fifty a part. That's the crazy part. I mean, but that's just that's a testament to you, bro, because they rock with you, bro. Like you got a decent brand. I remember <laughs> the first jumpsuit I ever saw, bro. It was a white. It was a black joint with the white on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it was as simple as you might think. And my barber was, like, so geeked about <laughs> having it. He like, man, it's next up. I'm telling you, this little young cat, he know how to sell. He real excited about it. And I'm like, all right, Kenny, it's a jumpsuit. You know what I'm <laughs> no, saying? Like, relax. Boy, though. He always, he always be hyping me up. That's what, I mess with Kenny, though. Yeah. Oh, you, you, and you need that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I you do. need that. Yeah, um, I do. You, you need people behind you that's not related to you with a battery in your back. 
they put their hand in your back, keep that battery in your battery, back yeah. to make you, you know what I'm saying? Like, because like you said, it's motivation. Motiva- yeah. It's definitely motivation. But I mean, just speaking to that, like, is it any random people that's just reaching to you, family members that you ain't never met, never heard of, you asking your OG, hey, who is this? And they like, well, man, I just need $2,000. You know what I'm nah, saying? No, no, no. They don't, I don't really got family that do that because I'm close with a lot of family, so they know how I'm going already, but they don't really ask for nothing like that, no. no. Oh, yeah, no, that's what's up. Well, shit, I need to get my big and ass family <laughs> members. Boy, they think this shit done took off, and I'm a millionaire, boy. Well, you know you're doing the shows. No, if, no, I got some family that think that now. Like, <laughs> my rich ass little cuz. You feel me, my rich ass little cuz, nephew. You feel me, like, yeah, stuff like that, but yeah. I don't really take it like that. Yeah, no, nah, and, you, and you can't, you can't. Because, yeah. I mean, just in talking to you the last few weeks, man, and having you in here, we just chopped it up before. We turned the cameras on. Like, you just don't you don't strike me as that type of person. Right, yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? It's just going to get on some bullshit no, with nobody. Yeah, no. <laughs> but it, even still with that, like, boom, so you out in the world, like, I know they chasing you down, man. Like, how, what that look like for you? Man, I'm really, like, a lot of people, if you can't bring nothing to the table for me, it's like really, like, you see what I'm saying? I can't really do nothing with you. And I could do everything myself. You can't come to the table. Like, if I ever def- was to find, like, a real genuine person, I could help them. I could put them on game, and we could take off together. But I like in this generation, it's hard to find like genuine love, bro. Right? Because everybody want to keep up with the internet. Yeah. Uh, Dirt ball India, a million flowers in the car. Now they want a million flowers in the car. It ain't the same. Yeah, no, this it shit different. The same. This era let the internet fry their hair, bro. Man, that's so crazy that you say that because that's that's what I shoot. We had these types of conversations in the podcast, and uh, you know they're gonna make it off. To, oh, he just he a man. He just being a man. That's what they're gonna say about you listening right. to this. But it's an age difference between me and you, and the type of things that I'm talking about, and the things that you see in your generation. Like that's scary. I mean, like we just spoke to, bro. You here in the world, everybody can see you. Everybody know that you you a brand ambassador. Everybody know that you CEO of Heavy Heart. So I'm just imagining females coming out the woodworks when you places and you know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? How do that feel? I don't really get, I don't really show the females too much attention. That's like last on my list. You feel me? So, right. Because you know when you lit, that shit come with it. It come with it, naturally. You ain't, like that's why I be trying to tell people, just get in your back. It's going to come with it. Everything going to fall in line, bro. Man, I'm, I'm come, bro. Everything come with it. I'm bro. But social media, it, it affect a lot of people, bro. Yeah. Like they... The, they think they fell in the life because they see this person doing that when it ain't even they person just putting on the image, bro. Yeah, they selling the image. That's the social the people that have social media just take over a brain. And it, it be it low key though. It be hard a little bit though. I ain't gonna hold you because in this in this lane that I'm in, like you'll see, uh, just like a month or two ago or whatever, you seen uh Wallow and Gilly do the hundred million. No, nah, yeah, and I'm like. Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm behind the ball. Yeah. I gotta get my shit together. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like you said. You know, uh, in so many words, what they eat don't make me shit. So I just gotta go day by day, right. doing the best that I can do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because what's for you gonna come to you? What's for me is gonna come for me. What's for them is for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying you can't let their success make you feel like, damn, I ain't doing shit because they saying nothing new. No, it ain't like that. Yeah. It, they took hard work, years, and then they got what they got. Yeah. You put the work in, you're going to get there. On my that soul. Power. Yeah, no, nah, that's that's definitely 100% uh, where it's at. Um, so in the beginning, you spoke to your mom and dad. You spoke to family being real important to you. Tell me how things is different in the house now because you him. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm, do they I, like I told do they you, still or, treat you like son son or do yeah, they? No, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, because they I got a brother. Okay, they, they treat us the same. You feel me? And yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. But like, that's what I'm saying. I don't feel like I'm him. So when I just wait, <laughs> I wake up like a regular person. I do everything regular, bro. My OG got to tell me like I come in like, man, this boy just walked up to me like you know you like what up, bro? You, you feel me? You you him? You heavy? You really heavy heart? But in my mind, I'm like, yeah, you feel me? But she telling me, like, you really a big deal out here, son. Yeah. You got to, you feel me? She my motivation. She the one reason I'm, you feel me? Yeah. I'm really him for real. <laughs> how do, and how do how do your pops feel about the whole situation? No, my pops actually uh, helped me with the brand. That's okay. my boy, too. So he we built it up together. And, and we did our thing together like yeah. that. That's my boy, though. Yeah, no, man, that's crazy, man, to be able to have 
that type of family atmosphere when you're doing something like this. Because, like you said, you know, on them nights where shit ain't going right, right. or, you know, you hope that this drop was going to go crazy, go and, crazy it, and it didn't. It didn't. Right, right. And then just to have them right there with you, like, well, don't, don't trip, it's good. We're going to we yeah. gonna bounce back, bounce and, you back. know what I'm saying, whatever the case may be. Yeah. That's definitely got to be a super plus, bro. Nah, that's And then thing. having a brother, how old is your brother? Uh, 23. 22. Oh, so y'all right there. the same age. He turned 23 in January. Oh, okay, so then, yeah, y'all right there. So that's got to be peace. He just had a little daughter, Nixie. Oh, that's what's up, man. Congratulations um, to bruh. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations, Unc. You got a little niece to spoil. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Having a brother your same age in this, that's got to feel good, too. No, that feel real good. It's crazy because I try to make my brother start a clothing line. That's yeah. the crazy part. But he ain't really, he got into it, but he ain't really pushed because he, he into something else. You feel right. what I'm saying? So I can't make him do it. Yeah, no, he for ain't sure. do it. So he doing what he do, so. And that's kind of it. Kind of goes back to what we were saying a little bit ago. Um, you know what I'm saying? With people around you starting stuff, like I, I told you, like man, you know, everybody's starting podcasts or whatever. No shade, do your thing. Like when you see people telling you, "Oh man, I'm finna do this," or "Should I do this? Should I do?" Like, do you get them that advice? And what type of advice is that? Like, do you speak to man? If this ain't your passion. Don't right. do if it. You, yeah, because if you don't really want to do it, you can't do it because it, that ain't something you love to do, so you ain't going to want to do it. Yeah. You got to do something you love. To, I love dressing, so I made some clothes, and yeah. I love making clothes now. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to love it to do it. You can't just make something and don't like it. You yeah. ain't going to want to do it for real. Yeah, no. I met a lot of people that just, like, won't, that try to do it, but they ain't really want to do it. Mm. It's because I'm doing it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But then they ain't go far with it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they'll come to you, man, that shit don't really work, that man. That shit don't really, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But it really work. You just, it take time, bro. Take time you can't go to sleep, wake up, and you and me, you know, that shit don't work like that. It don't. That, I never seen that shit happen, bro. <laughs> that shit don't work like that. It's a real time dedication. Unless you, unless you Kim Kardashian and you suck them. No, no, I ain't know that. <laughs> Shout out to the Kardashians. Shit, they making niggas millionaires now. They make Come Kanye a billionaire. Nah, for real. That's crazy. So, I mean, outside of wanting to touch other entities like real estate, um, outside of wanting to do other things like start trucking companies, man, what could you offer outside of the outside of the master class? What type of advice, man, would you offer these shorties out here, man, that's thinking about the street shit, that's thinking about the, you know what I'm saying? What would you say to them? Because obviously you didn't fall into the hole. Right, right. It's only two things with the street shit. Dead or in jail, bro. It mm. ain't too much to say to him. He's 22. You're going to be in the street. It's going to be either the two. So you might as well just get in your bag and turn up. Oh, my soul. I make, bro, you could stand on the street and make that. Bro, you could make that selling five hoodies, bro. Yeah. At $50. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't hard. You just got to want to do it and put the effort into doing it. On everything. But it's only two things. It's, it's nothing like I can tell him. It's only two things to what you're doing, bro. Death or jail. Mm. Ain't too much to it. Yeah, no, I broke. And that's. It's so crazy because I try to not I, I don't I try not to knock anybody for what they do and how they do what they do. Right, right. But it's like you said you from out west. Right. Like you said, either I can get in my bag or I can do the street shit. Do the street. Right. You know what I'm saying? Something that you said earlier on in our conversation uh was that that there's a million ways to make money. Right. And it's like we fall into that if I ain't dribbling the basketball, if I ain't rapping. Rapping. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like what I got to do. Here's the living proof sitting right here in front of me at 22. When did you start, bro? At like, how old were you when you was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. When you made that first hoodie, how old were you? Uh, 19. So you, and I'm, I'm not giving anybody the, well, it's only going to take you three years. No, it, you, it, bro, what I did, uh, a lot of people ain't do, bro. I, what I, how much I ran up in a year. Yeah. That was unbelievable. That that was that was something a lot of people ain't never experienced. So I can't tell them it'll take this many. Yeah. Whatever for you is gonna be for you. You yeah. see what I'm saying? I yeah. ain't even know I was gonna run it up like that. It just yeah. happened. It was it, it was for me. You it was for you at that time. It was for me at that time. Yeah, no, that's wild, man. Um that that's what I'm saying though. Like at at 19, this set on you. And you was like, you know what? I'm gonna go this route with this. Right. I wasn't taking it serious at first though. Straight up? I swear. Talk about that. I just put, bro, I just had, like, I went to the mall. I gave him the logo. I said, can you make these on the hoodie? Shit wasn't selling at first. You feel me? But one day, I just made a lot of different colors. Posted on Facebook. That's what I'm saying. It went viral. And then after that, 
All the messages history. coming in. <laughs> Can I get a hoodie? Where you selling them? Where you selling them at? So I happened to make a website because I I want for to do no pull ups. You right. Feel me? It's still it's dangerous. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Be robbing people. So I'm about to do no. So I made a website. I put all the hoodies on the website. Changed my life after that, bro. That's crazy. And that that's that's what I'm saying. It's like 19. You decide I want to do this. Right. You kick it off. It don't really take off how you want, but you like. But I still want this though. Right. You know what I mean. So you still put the time in, the effort in. It takes off. Boom. You run it up. Now you off and running. Now it's like what people don't understand is that part. Like they think, oh, okay, well, if I could just get this and make it here, then it just changes everything for me. No. Not really. Because you still got work to do. Yeah, a lot of it. Yeah. A lot of work. My OG still, that's what I'm saying. My, as long as my OG still work, I got a lot of work to do, bro. Yeah. So I ain't nowhere near where I'm going to go. But I'm I'm, pro- I'm progressing right now, though. Hey, man, you more than progressing. Like <laughs> I said, and it's, co- it's so crazy because you you speak to being from out west. The dude that I'm talking to, he done moved around so much in life that, that really, like, outside of the jolly people that I know, he like, man, I'm he way from Kankakee somewhere. He man, no, I follow dude and he just excited. Man, he be dropping the coldest. And then I'm just looking around like, damn, folk really like that. <laughs> like he really so I want you to understand that where you at right now, bro, this is just the bottom floor. You just above everybody else. Yeah, I'm just like yeah. and you just shooting, bro. Shooting, yeah. I am. And keep moving in that direction because like you said, what's for you was for you. What's for, yeah. And that's going to take off, man. And it's going to be crazy. You got the master class going. You got your mind pointed in another direction with, with real estate, with getting other family members. Like, you thinking of multiple streams of income. income yeah. People don't be thinking that way, bro. Yeah, one, one stream of income really can't do it, bro. It'll get you to a certain point, yeah. and then you have to invest in something else. Yeah. You need at least even for the five to really hit them millions Feel me, honey, me, stuff like that. But the, the one income is gonna get you to a certain point. But yeah. you gotta invest that money. You can't sure. get comfortable. When you For get sure. comfortable, that's when you lose it all. Bro. That's when you lose it all. Have you ever like considered like like other than just just hoodies and jumpsuits? Have you ever thought about like socks and jeans and all of that and getting yeah. further into the clothing line? Yeah, that's what I was getting into it all next year because the really the hoodies and all that stuff. That's what really made my brand. So I just kept what really made me. Yeah, for me? sure. Because whatever made me there, that's what's gonna keep me going. You feel me? Yeah. So I really stuck with the hoodie game and I started switching up the logos. People, start, when I switched up the logo, I made like a little full zip hoodie. I looked on a book; it went viral. I'm sitting at breakfast with my my uh, OG now. I look on the book. I'm viral again. I just wake up. I just, I sw- bro, I just woke up, posted the hoodie, went out to eat, looked on the book where I'm at to eat. I'm viral, bro. 20K shares. Damn. I, I sold out. I, I just got them hoodies and I sold out first day. Damn. 50 grand. Easy. First day. <laughs> just at breakfast, bro. It's like, uh, how, how am I? I'll be thinking like, how am I just going viral like this? 50 grand for breakfast. From breakfast. Wake up. Man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It'd be crazy, bro. Hey, I'm glad you keep that joint on you. <laughs> I'm glad you keep... <laughs> hey, man, whatever I got to do, man, when these cameras go off, tell me what the fuck to do, man. I'm, <laughs> man, where do I get this master class at, bro? That's sick, bro. I'm super proud of you, man. I'm glad everything is working out how it was working out in your favor. I would ask you to just keep going, bro. Don't stop. This is the first time you sitting in the studio. I pray that it's not the last. I want you to keep growing, bro. Do what the fuck you supposed to do, man, and blow this thing up. I got the heavy heart CEO sitting in here, man. I can't believe it. I'm sitting next to a CEO. <laughs> it's two motherfucking CEOs in a room, man. This is greatness personified. You got anything for him going out? Uh, no, shout out to my boy from having me. I appreciate him. Shout out my OG, my family. They know how I rock. <laughs> On my soul, you want to give anybody else some love before you go? Uh. And shout out my boy uh, Fabian. He got the uh, Hard to Love brand, and my boy Veli, product of the trenches. Go shout with them, man. That's what's up, man. And I'm pretty sure they appreciate you saying that. Hey, man, y'all know what the fuck going on. It's your boy Da. I got a CEO in the building, and it's up there from here on out. Y'all be smooth. We gone. Love.